On Tuesday, Prince and Princess Privacy, Harry and Meghan Markle, claimed to have been involved in a, quote, near catastrophic car chase at the hands of a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. A, quote, relentless pursuit lasting over two hours, resulting in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians, and two NYPD officers. Wow, quite the story. I was just waiting for the part where Megan held onto her Subway sandwich while the Nigerian white supremacist paparazzi told her that Manhattan is MAGA country. And I was not the only person, perhaps, to be skeptical of the story. For starters, the story resembled the car chase that ended with the death of Harry's mother, Diana, almost perfectly. Few other facts that raised some doubts about the Markle's claims include the testimony of the NYPD, which observed that the couple, quote, arrived at their destination and there were no reported collisions, summonses, injuries, or arrests, as well as the testimony of the cabbie who said, quote, I never felt like I was in danger. It wasn't like a car chase in a movie, as well as the fact that it's New York City, one of the most congested places on earth where it is not possible to have a two hour or even a two minute car chase because the traffic is always so bad. Even the liberal mayor of New York was not buying it. I would find it hard to believe that there was a two hour high speed chase. That would be, I find it hard to believe, but we will find out the exact duration of it. It's a very diplomatic way of saying it's just total BS. And it's not just the Markles, okay? If it were just the Markles, I'd let it go. We wouldn't open the show this way. But it's not just the Markles. It's the Markles and the media and the FBI and pretty much the whole regime. We are ruled by a bunch of BS artists. That is the inevitable consequence of a culture that shirks duty and favors fantasy and rejects the very notion of truth. Right now, go to GenuCell.com slash Knowles. Did you know our friends over at GenuCell have upgraded their most popular package to feature their top-selling deep-firming vitamin C serum plus ultra-retinol moisturizer with natural retinol alternative? Right now, you can take advantage of this limited-time package. Upgrade for 70% off. Why waste time and money to go get work done on your face when you can get GenuCell skincare shipped right to your door? Here is a GenuCell.com review from Robert in Blessing, Texas. Quote, I purchased GenuCell as a gift for my girlfriend. She said she saw the results so fast. Her skin is noticeably softer and smoother. I can see and feel a difference too. She was already beautiful and GenuCell has made her more beautiful. And I'll tell you, I assumed GenuCell, was, I figured it was just for the girls, right? No, it turns out actually guys tend to use it even more than women too. We just don't like to admit it. Great company, fabulous product. And the founder is a great guy, Coptic Christian from Egypt, who came over here for the American dream. Go to GenuCell.com slash Knowles. Try GenuCell's most popular package for 70% off, featuring both GenuCell's Ultra Retinol and GenuCell's Firming Serum. Get a complimentary spa essentials box with every package order, plus free upgrade to priority shipping. That is GenuCell.com slash Knowles. GenuCell.com slash K-N-O-W-L-E-S. Right now, head on over to GoodRanchers.com. Use promo code Knowles. Memorial Day is a time to honor and remember our brave servicemen and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. It is also a time to come together as a nation, gather with loved ones, and enjoy some mouth-watering meals. What better way to do that than with premium 100% American meat from Good Ranchers? Good Ranchers is not like the other meat delivery companies that import a majority of their products. They are compassionate about delivering the finest 100% American meat right to your doorstep. Here's something special. Good Ranchers proudly offers a 10% discount to all past and present service members as a way of saying thank you for your service. But that's not it. In honor of Memorial Day, Good Ranchers is giving our listeners an exclusive opportunity. When you use code Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S, you can save up to 25% site-wide. From tender steaks to succulent chicken, GoodRanchers.com has it all. I'm on the road right now. One of the few things to really bug me is I don't get my Good Ranchers as regularly as I am able to at home. It's The meat is just unbelievable. Fire up the grill on Memorial Day with your family and friends, knowing that the meat you're enjoying is not only of the highest quality, 
but also supports American ranchers. Go to GoodRanchers.com today. Use code Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S, to save up to 25% site-wide. The more you stock up on, the more you will save during the Memorial Day sale. Code Knowles, GoodRanchers.com, Good Ranchers, American meat delivered. Did you feel it? Did the wind blow through your hair as we slid further down that slippery slope? Because you can go over to the chalkboard, you can put down another correct prediction for the social conservatives. We've slid further down the slippery slope. I think the score right now is 10 bazillion to zero in terms of predictions, but it doesn't really matter because the social conservatives continue to be right and the liberals continue to get whatever they want, this time on polygamy and polyamory. Remember when the conservatives, those crazy, fuddy-duddy, neurotic conservatives, they said when the libs were trying to redefine marriage that if we redefine marriage to include two men and two women, that pretty soon we're going to redefine marriage to include polygamy and polyamory. And it's going to be not just one man and another man, but one man and three women and two billy goats and a sheep. And guess what happened? That's exactly what happened from the New York Times. Quote, interested in polyamory? Check out these places. Subheader, laws granting rights to people in polyamorous relationships are being recognized in more cities. Now, to be clear, this isn't polygamy yet. This isn't redefining marriage yet. This is the first step. This is the civil unions of orgies. Okay, the the first step is we're just going to give some rights. Oh, what does it matter? Love is love. Who cares? Why are you such a fuddy-duddy? We're not redefining marriage to include polygamy, okay, you crazy person. And then within a matter of years at most, we're going to start seeing these, these new rights that we're extending to some people who are just a little bit different. That's going to be extended to redefining marriage if it hasn't been totally abolished already. Article, Jace Knight had heard about Somerville, Massachusetts while working on a PhD at the University of Alabama in 2020. The small city had recently passed a law granting domestic partnership rights, like the ability to receive employment benefits or make hospital visits, to people in polyamorous relationships. Mix Knight, that's what they do now, instead of Mr. and Miss and Mrs., even the feminist Ms., now, the people who are confused about their sex, they do MX, period. Mix Knight, who is non-binary and has been non-monogamous since 2014, was impressed. In late March, Somerville passed two more laws extending the rights of non-monogamous residents, this time banning discrimination on the basis of family or relationship structure in city employment and housing. Similar ordinance focused on housing is currently being discussed in Somerville, City, and that's because Mix Knight has two partners and a partner of one of those partners. <laughs> and the you get the point. There are a bunch of other people like this, a bunch of other towns doing this. It's always the same script. It's always, we just want to visit people in the hospital. You know, you can change hospital rules, right? You don't need to fundamentally redefine <laughs> marriage and man and woman. You can. You can just change visitation rules within the hospitals themselves. Well, we and we want certain non-discrimination rights. I don't know if you're a complete degenerate who has orgies all the time and is living in this bizarre arrangement where no one knows anybody's sex and you're all doing weird stuff all the time with multiple people. I I feel I should be able to discriminate against you. It, discriminate meaning distinguish from one thing to another. If I got two candidates for a job, thank goodness I'm not in the position to hire anybody or the NLRB would probably be on my back already before the end of this show. But if I were, I'm just saying this hypothetically in principle, if I were going to hire somebody and I wanted to hire, I don't know, a guy to look after my house, someone to look after my kids, let's say especially, but let's say just someone to look after my property, And I had two choices. I had a guy who was an upright family man, married, took care of his responsibilities, you know, went to church on Sunday. So just a good, a good guy all around. 
And then I've got this other guy who doesn't know that he's a guy and who's constantly engaging in weird bacchanals and orgies and is just so hyper-focused on sex and porn and obscenity that it's the only thing that goes between one ear and the other that's basically melted his brain. Which person do you think is going to be more responsible to, to do the job? Which person is going to have a better grasp on reality and morality <laughs> and the way that people are supposed to behave? But according to Somerville, Massachusetts, you're not, you're not allowed to even perceive that distinction. Haven't we gone a little bit far? Wouldn't you say there's a little bit of drift here from, hey, don't unjustly discriminate against the El Salvadoran over the Italian or something, versus, hey, don't discriminate between people who can't even understand the difference between men and women to say nothing of the fundamental political structure. If you cannot discriminate on the basis of what people think a family is, then what you're saying is you can't discriminate on the, on the fundamental political structure because that's the basic political unit. But the libs are discriminating. Of course the libs are discriminating. If you think that marriage is and family is what it always has been, you're out, man. Your views are not accepted anymore. You will be discriminated against in the culture and through the law. And what will be discriminated for is going to be Mix Knight with his 17 partners and their 22 partners and the Billy Goat. Not good. Boy, oh boy, that was a great clip. If you want all the clips and the interviews and the yes or no game and the full show, you got to subscribe. Ring the bell. We'll see you next time.